It was a blustery day in Lion Country, but Penn State Nation was warned by thoughts of California sunshine and roses, knowing that a win over Michigan State would send the Nittany Lions to Pasadena and the Rose Bowl. And while November snow partially covered Beaver Stadium, the Nittany Lion defense completely blanketed the Spartans. Javon Ringer came into the game the third leading runner in the country, but Penn State would hold him to a season low rushing. Back goes Hoyer on a straight drop with a lot of time. Over the middle, deflected and incomplete. White was decked that time by Scarato. That ball was deflected. Third down, four man rush. Here they come and down he goes. Back at the 14 yard line. A. Caroma and Maurice Evans. Fourth down. Clark, straight back to pass. Clark waits over the middle, throws, throw it, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, and down to the 10-yard line. Jordan Norwood with a 39-yard strike. Spread it out and then hit the middle of the field with Norwood, and he takes it all the way down to the 10-yard line. Back to pass, wants to throw, rolls far side, looks to create, looks downfield at the end zone, fires the end zone, it is caught, waiting, touchdown, Penn State! Well, nice job by Daryl Clark extending the play, waiting as long as he could. He knew he was going to take a hit. Graham Zug knew where the sideline was. He kept his feet in bounds and then getting the touchdown. That was big for Penn State's offense to get six points there. Penn State's defense gave Javon Ringer no room to run. They would limit the Spartans to 10 yards in the first quarter. They gave quarterback Brian Hoyer no time. The combination was lethal to a Michigan State team that had Big Ten title dreams of their own. Meanwhile, Penn State's offense had plenty of room and time thanks to the lunch pail guys up front. Those with their hands on the frozen ground. The Nittany Lions offensive line had given their talented group of skill position players an advantage all year, and it just continued in the regular season finale. Penn State took a 7-0 lead into the second quarter, which turned into an explosion of power, finesse, and emotion. Fallen Waller left side, Royce turns the corner 15, gets a block to the 10, swings it inside the 10 and down the 5. He had Butler in front, he had Waller on the edge, and Royster has a first and goal for the Lions. Three outstanding blocks on that one for Royster to get the ball inside the 5. Waller up the middle, Waller, touchdown Penn State! They were not ready for Lawler to handle the football. Shipley from that center position took his man and just blew him right back into the end zone. Cunningham near side, white far side from the eye. Hoyer, play action, bank under the gun, and down he goes, Maurice Evans. The irresistible force against the immovable object, and the immovable object was winning the battle. Penn State was showing why they are the best defense in the Big Ten and one of the best defenses in the country. Straight drop by Clark, back he goes, they set the screen. The green, 20, 25, green, 30, 35, first down, 40, 45, 50, 45 of Michigan State and down to the Michigan State 40 yard line. Despite the winter temperatures, Penn State's spread HD offense was red hot. Not even third and 17 could stop them as Stephon Green turned on the Jets on a screen pass. Darrell Clark would have a career day throwing the football to a wide variety of weapons. And when he found Graham Zug over the middle, the Nittany Lions were knocking on the end zone's door once again. Field from the one, Clark rolls near side, tries to turn the corner, convoy, touchdown, Penn State, they cap a 71-yard drive. Penn State has been sharper, they've been faster, they have beat them at the line of scrimmage, they beat them at the point of attack, and uh, that's why they have a three-touchdown lead at this point. Boyer in the gun again, back he goes again, sets, waits, delivers down the middle, it's intercepted by Scarano, 40, 35. Anthony Scarato was one of 17 seniors to be honored in their last home game, and they were major contributors on Senior Day. But this game featured a perfect blend of present and future. Clark back, pump face. He wants the end zone with Derek Williams. Make the catch. Touchdown, Penn State. This is a play where Derek Williams just wanted it more than the defender. He did a good job of with his body screening off the safety so that he could make the catch. Michigan State scored late in the half, but if the Spartans had any ideas that would spark a comeback, Penn State quickly squashed them by starting the second half the same as the first, with a smothering defense. The Spartans tried many different ways to get the ball into the hands of Javon Ringer with some space to operate, but whether running with the ball or catching it, he was surrounded by blue shirts all day. Over 1,500 rushing yards for the season, 42 against Penn State. It'll bring up a third down and one for Michigan State. Ringer stacked up, Maven's there with 
everybody. Okay, Evans Scar off the edge. Scarado as well. I mean, you had everybody up in the line of screens. Second and four. Royce to the right side. Big block, Shipley, 40. 45. Block from Williams, 50. Near side, 45. Into Michigan State territory. Shipley sealed it off. Williams kicked one out downfield, and the Mitney Lions are on a roll again. Uh, good block, but land out as well at the point of attack. And again, a good decision by Royster. Shipley, Ornberger, and Cadogan have played a lot of football together here on the offensive line for Penn State. All are seniors, but quarterback Darrell Clark will be back, and he threw for a career-high 341 yards, slicing apart the Michigan State secondary with precision. Seniors up front gave him protection. Seniors downfield gave him targets, as Jordan Norwood, Deion Butler, and Derek Williams combined for over 300 yards of aerial offense. Back to pass. Throws in the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. Deion Butler. Might as well make your first catch for a touchdown. First and 10, Penn State, 43-yard line. They pitch it back to Jimerson. Halfback option pass. Throws it back to Hoyer. Hoyer makes the catch. Oh. He's going to throw downfield wide open. And for White, intercepted by Lydell Sargent. And Hoyer got absolutely drilled. Sarge's fourth interception of the year. They ran a gadget play, and Penn State had it run all the way. Michigan State had two weeks to get ready for this game, but the Nittany Lions were the more prepared team. The experienced Penn State coaching staff made sure of that. And as the third quarter slowly evaporated, it became more and more apparent where the Nittany Lions were going for New Year's. Mark back. Play action, think of the draw. Looks downfield, wide open. Deion Butler, 35 30. Deion Butler, goodbye. He is gone. Touchdown, Penn State. A 70 yard strike from Daryl Clark. And I'll tell you what, it's fun being a quarterback when you got guys like that to throw to. Game set and match, Nittany Line. It is over. Theoretically, but not technically. Pat Devlin came in at quarterback in the fourth quarter, and the Nittany Lions continued to march to the same beat. Devlin had been instrumental in Penn State's win at Ohio State, and he put the final rose in the bouquet. A 59-yard strike to Deion Butler and the Nittany Lions' performance warmed the hearts of more than 109,000 on a chilly November day. On senior day, the Nittany Lions win the 800th game in school history and in the process win the Big Ten Championship for the second time in four seasons. The Nittany Lions are Big Ten champions again.